I do. Are you who I think you are? Uh, in the digital flesh, yeah. This is the metaverse, right? This is what I came for. Oh god, the metaverse. Oh no, it's already happened. <laughs> Man, I, I hopped on. I didn't expect to see six players on. You know, it's a damn shame because I played like the originals like way back yeah. when it came out and there was so many players. Like the battles were fucking epic, dude. It's such a damn shame. Yeah, I bet it would be. They just didn't market this, right? Nope, not I at mean, all. They told me or they, they I don't know advertised that they were going 1.0 like a, a week ago maybe and then just that was nothing i didn't hear anything about this being launching right now like they seriously needed some goddamn like the most advertising that i've seen was a tweet going out on freaking uh squads uh squads uh you know discord that's the most that i've seen yeah i the tweet i saw was just from from beyond the wires but holy smokes man this is painful it is. Beyond the Wire is a game that has been struggling to find a player base ever since its inception. Not to say that it doesn't have one, but it's just about enough to fill up two servers, which is great because that's literally all the servers that they have at the moment. I think they just recently added one, but yeah, there's a number of reasons why it might not be getting a whole lot of player base, and that might be because it's just a little too expensive. Maybe people just aren't fond of World War One. But let me tell you, man, it's a damn shame because this game is fun as hell. If you're someone that's into bolt action, then this game really is the game for you. I definitely definitely like it, but I think what really shines with this game is the melee combat. Just putting on that freaking bayonet and charging up to dudes and stabbing them, or pulling out your sword or melee weapon and running out and just BAM! Hitting him and slapping him. I think it's great. Is the game worth it right now? At its current price, I think yeah, but the problem with it is that it has very low player numbers. There's definitely enough to fill up a server, but I wonder how long the game is going to last. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'm definitely gonna play the hell out of it because I have been having a lot of fun. Like pushing them back and capturing objectives and all that stuff. The game is definitely more realistic than Battlefield 1, but not as realistic as real life because in real life, you'd just be sitting in trenches all day until you were called up to go into Nomad's Land and then just die. Rinse and repeat. Does this game have its issues? Yes, it does. There are times when the game would stutter. I did have a few desyncing issues, but it didn't overall hinder my experience. Maybe just one time when I was about to shoot someone and the game kind of froze right there, like if I was playing Escape from Tarkov. Seems to be a common thing in a lot of these games now. But overall, I definitely had a pretty good experience. So here my experience. Bunch of them coming.
No, it's still there. You always see it when you die. No, it's unavailable. Wait, it's overrun by the enemy. Just get, to, get rid of it. Boys, push up. Hey, friend. You revived me in no man's land. What are you nuts? I. What? There's one to your left, to your left, on the other side. German tank, German tank. Alright guys, we need to fall back. We're not gonna be able to hold this. Might as well put the rally all the way in the back there.
Grenade, watch out! Throw a grenade! Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was a fucking flamethrower. Dude, the flamethrower is actually scary. I'm trying to shotgun the guy. I thought I hit him. What's that? I spam shotgun him. He's up. He's thing is up top. Wait for him to reload, wait for him to reload. Okay, he's reloading. Let's go. Cook, 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 cook. Throwing a bomb! Oh, we already own these objectives. Push up. Yeah, but they're like right down there.